Okay, I know that many of you are anxious to get started using the program. If you don't watch any other videos, I highly recommend that you watch this one completely. The reason being is my number one support question is things aren't being saved. It turns into a pain in the butt, especially when you spend a lot of time adding your investigator's information and you click the button and you come back and it's not there. The reason for that is any information that you add that you wish to use at a future date you must add to the plan directly from your desktop or from the documents or wherever you've added the uh, program to begin with. So here you see on my desktop I have the plan and this could again be in your documents file it depends on where you saved it but you want to go to that little icon and then go ahead and click on it when I click on it the little splash screen will come up and what I'll do is pause it and resize the window okay I've resized the window so that you can uh, see what I'm doing now if you go up here tools you have to follow the process that I'm showing you right now otherwise it will not stay for a future use if you add this information in a report it'll only save it to that individual report and not for future use so what I'm showing you here is add it directly to the plan from the very get-go and I'll show you how to add it add the information to a individual report in the video a little bit later now let's go to the investigators profile and here you can see I've already added my information now if you want to just quickly check and get some information from this point you can uh, slide these around and get the phone number real quick okay any information that you need now I'm gonna add another investigator and we'll just call it uh, your name and if you don't add any of this information the one thing that you will wanna do is add an email address for everyone okay and this will come in very handy later on when you want to uh, email everyone it will include that particular email update or whatever you want to send to all your members it'll send one out to them if they don't have an email there it's not going to send them that update or whatever information so you want to make sure that you add their name and their email and probably their phone number the rest of this can be filled out later and that'll get you going quickly Then click OK and you can see that it was added here Okay. Now, the important thing here is do not just X out. What you want to do is go down here and click close. Okay. And at this point, just go over here to file, click exit. And now you can see I'm back to my desktop and all that information has been saved now permanently to the plan and it can be used for any future reference. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the plan and we'll go through that flash screen and um, I'll resize the window so I'll pause it here for a second okay I've resized it and now if we go up to tools and you go to statistics you can see that now this is added permanently and here now I can go ahead and close that it's not gonna hurt anything because now this is the report that I'm working with so, um, to show you what I mean, if I go up here and go to File, and I have a sample report saved to my desktop, so I'm going to Open Report, and I will go to the sample, and open that report. Now if I go to Tools and Investigator, you can see that that information is available to me now, again, right here in this report so if I get to an area where I can add the information rather than fill it out I can just click on the modify and click on anyone that I wish to add save and it it added it and then I'm gonna go ahead and take away and let's say that uh, it was the only one that should be in this portion of that report click save and you'll see here that now it's just my name in this particular piece of information. 
So you'll see that I have uh, autofill portions throughout this report and that'll make it real handy so that you don't have to keep adding and typing in investigators names. You just click the, the modify and whoever's listed in this you can simply click and add to the report and that's kind of a time-saving feature. Now the important thing here is if you wish to add another investigator you can go ahead and do so and you have to add them through here but if you do this in the report it's not going to save it for the future so the only way you can do this is close this out then you have to go back to the plan and open it up I'm going to pause it a second then when it opens up the screen you go back up to tools and you go to investigators profile and then you can add someone else okay and again make sure that you add their email address if you don't add any of the information their name and their email click OK again click the close okay now you can just go up here go to file open report again I'm gonna open up my sample report and it's opened up that sample report now if I go down here and I go to modify you can see that it's got someone else so now if I want to add these three and save you can see that their names were added to this particular portion of the report and that'll save it for any future use and any future reports that you want to make um, that'll always be kept there and available for you if you don't do it this way and you add these names directly from the report like if I add it here I can add anybody's name I want to and it'll save it to the report however the next report that I, I do any information that I added from the report will only be with that report and won't be available for future use. The only way to do it, once again, and I know I'm repeating myself, is to add any new information to the tool section. You have to go through the plan itself. That's the only way that you're going to be able to save information directly for future use, going directly to the plan from your desktop or your documents file that's probably the biggest issue you're going to have is you're not going to be able to find information that you thought you saved. So this should help you to avoid some problems down the road. If you have any questions, drop me an email, dennis at simplyghost.com, and I'll see you in the next video.